Hi guys, my name is Mike and uh, in this video I want to talk about one of my favorite setups in the game which in my opinion is key in winning uh, large vehicle maps and that is a hybrid between the engineer class and the assault class and basically what you're doing is uh, you're playing the assault class with uh, a long range rifle like the AN-94 or, or the KH and at the same time you're using a, a crossbow with explosive bolts and you have something like a mini uh, mini RPG and uh, your role is running around uh, keeping your engineers uh, alive but at the same time you're helping out uh, with the with the vehicles now uh, most of you are thinking right now that the crossbow is uh, just like an uh, m320 and it's a uh, weak compared to the rpg but that's far from the truth it is weaker from uh, than the rpg but a lot stronger than the uh, m320 so here are a few things that you probably don't know first of all a crossbow removes uh, reactive armor so one hit against the side of a tank and it, it removes its reactive armor whereas the m320 doesn't so uh, that's a huge advantage for um, for your team if you're running along a, uh, alongside a bunch of engineers you know you can take the first shot against a tank you know the rear of the tank and then your engineers can deal uh, more damage against that uh, vehicle also what most people under, uh, underestimate is how much damage it causes and um, so here's some numbers against an lav uh, explosive bolt of the of the um, crossbow deals 25% damage. That's a huge amount. I mean, uh, four bolts take out one uh, single tank. Of course, that depends on the angle. If you don't hit it at, at 90 degrees, uh, the, the the damage is slightly less. It goes down to I don't know 17, 18%. But a huge amount of dan uh, of damage nonetheless. Uh, against the tank, if you hit it in the back, it's 28% uh, damage. That's you know, uh, if, if you can get behind a tank, you can either take out the reactive armor or cause 28% damage and uh, let your engineers do um, uh, the rest of the job. Uh, against the uh, vehicle you just, you just saw me take out a uh, scout chopper, it's 93% damage um, against uh, scout chopper, attack chopper, jets. Slightly less damage against uh, um, the venom chopper, but again, still a one hit disable. So you see how it's, it's nothing uh, compared to M320. Um, also, for, in order to use an M320, you need to have the um, uh, grenade perk, uh, which um, a specialization, sorry, it's which which you don't need with the explo with the explosive bolts of the of the crossbow because you can have ten bolts no matter what specialization you you have. So overall, it's a it's a very useful um, a very useful tool. And I'm not saying that you know it replaces engineers. Uh, I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is that. If uh, instead of running um, a full squad of engineers, because on large vehicle, vehicle maps you have, let's say, two people in the jets, two people in choppers, let's say Caspian border, and then you have uh, another four people in the tank. So basically that leaves a, a single uh, infantry squad that's on the ground. And if, if all of them are playing engineers, which is mostly the case, you know, you, you do deal a lot more damage against uh, uh, land vehicles and, and choppers and stuff like that. But once you're dead, you're dead, and uh, you need to start all over again. Whereas, if for instance you have two engineers and and two uh, assault guys with uh, crossbows, you can deal less damage, but you can uh, stay alive a lot longer and uh, take out those vehicles. So that's the end of the video, guys. This is my hybrid class that the um, uh, description says: uh, engineer, assault class, uh, all in one. Obviously, you're lacking the repair. Uh, tool and uh, you're also lacking a med pack, but I think it's a very good setup for uh, playing large vehicle maps like uh, Carg Island, Caspian Border, and stuff like that. So let me know what you think in the in the comment section below. Take care. Bye.